Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about this graphic tablet. The link to it is in the description box below this video, so check it out. This graphic tablet has been sent to me by a Chinese website called Gearbest. They don't only sell graphic tablets, they sell every sort of things. This is a collab, they didn't sponsor me, I'm going to tell you my honest opinion and the link to their website is in the description of this video. They contacted me and asked me if I was interested in reviewing this graphic tablet and I said yes because I was intrigued by it. It is a Vic, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, S640 and it was only around $20. And wow guys, you're so lucky right now because when I started with digital art, the only brand available was Wacom. And for a tablet this small, I paid 90 euros. 90 euros. This tablet has an active area of 4 per 6 inches or 10 per 15 centimeter, which is small, but it doesn't matter. I've started with a tablet this small and I've never thought that it was too small. But it depends on the way you work. And on your preferences though. For me this size is not a problem actually. I find it quite convenient because since it's so small and also very flat it means that it's portable. You could very easily bring this around with you with your PC, PC sorry I'm Italian <laughs> and throw it digitally everywhere. If you're not rich enough to afford an iPad like me. This is very flat it's only two millimeters guys. Two millimeters it's very thin if you know millimeters and the bar on the left its side is only seven millimeters the thing that's missing though on this tablet are the shortcuts buttons there are no shortcuts buttons sadly uh, but at the end of the day this tablet is so small that's not difficult to reach to the computer's keyboard so it doesn't really matter the pen is amazing because you don't have to charge it at all it's just like Wacom's pens, it, they're magical. On the pen there are two buttons and you can change their function. As default, one of them is supposed to change whatever brush you're using into an eraser, but it didn't work for me. The driver is a little weird because on the instruction it says that you have to uninstall all the other tablets drivers from your computer and I have a lot of graphic tablets. <laughs> I tried to install it without uninstalling them and the tablet didn't work, so I'm afraid that if I install the other drivers back, this tablet won't work. That's horrible because if you want to use this as a second tablet on the go, you won't be able to. I haven't tried yet though, and I'll keep you updated in the description of this video because I haven't um, installed the, my Cintiq driver back, so I don't know yet. But if this is your only tablet, this, there are no problem. It actually works well. By now, I've never had to reload my PC to make it work. So you just plug it in and use it. And it's, it's quite a rare thing to do with graphic tablets because the drivers are always a disaster. Also, this tablet has 8,000... 192 pressure points and it's crazy considering that the standard is 2048 and I can see the difference if you press slightly you can get very very thin lines even if you're using a big brush it feels it really feels different now I don't think I have anything else to say if you have any questions please ask me in the comments and I'll try to reply to you I mean, I will reply to you. Also, I'm going to make a drawing on my computer with this tablet uh, on Photoshop. Um, I'm using an old version of it because my computer is so so slow now that I can use the recent Photoshop versions. But anyway, all the brush that I'm going to use, I'm going to leave them the link to them in the description box. Also, I'm going to do this drawing using one layer and I, I think I use pretty much only one brush actually so keep watching if you want to see it and yeah I'll leave it to the rest of the video bye bye